What's going on guys? It is our final day of week two and it is our upper body hit day. I've got a new timer for you today. We're going to be doing two strength training exercises followed by two um, hit cardio exercises. We got a lot of bears today. I don't know if you're familiar with that. But well, if you've worked out with me before, you know bear. So we're gonna be doing a lot of bears today. Okay, timer is 45, 45, 30, 30, and then we repeat the circuit. We have 15 seconds rest, so be thankful for that 15 seconds. It's, um, it's gonna be very needed during the uh, hit cardio portion. All right, we only have four circuits to get through. That's the good news. All right, get some water, get an exercise mat because we will be laying down on the ground and grab some dumbbells. I am really um, anticipating using my eights and my fives a lot, believe it or not. So make sure you've got something light. We do have a couple row type exercises. So grab a heavier dumbbell for that. But I do want you to make sure you've got some light dumbbells. So even if that means running into your kitchen, grabbing a couple bottles of water or cans of soup or something like that, we have some like planky, lifty type moves. All right, guys, let's get warmed up. All right, let's start with some big shoulder rolls. I'm gonna face this way because when we roll forward, we're gonna roll down. So right now we're rolling back. Big shrug up, slide those shoulder blades into your back pockets. Wanna get that upper body warm right away. Good, go ahead and reverse the circle. Roll it forward. We're just gonna do a few here. Good. On your next one, we're gonna roll down all the way out to plank. So roll it down, walk it on out. And then walk it right back up. Roll it all the way up. Shoulders backing down. Again, roll forward, roll all the way down. This time, I'm gonna slowly lower myself all the way down, and then bring myself right back up. Just getting that upper body warm. Roll it down, walk it out. I'm gonna roll into a side plank this time. So just roll open and then back, walk it up, roll it up, opposite direction this time, roll it down, walk it out, side plank the other way, and back together, and roll it all the way up, slow, steady, stand tall, shoulders back and down. Let's make sure we get those hip flexors. Step back, push the hips forward, Reach it up and go ahead and switch for me. Step back, push, reach. Switching again, step, push, reaching tall. Switch again. Let's do one more on each side. So stepping back, push, reach, switch again. Step back, push, reach, and good. Go ahead and turn it forward, rock it side to side. Oh, I got some pops. So like I said, we have a lot of bears, which means the quads might burn a little today. So sorry, but I want you to focus on keeping the belly button pulled in, the core engaged. Straighten those legs out, come down, walk from one foot to the other, Back up, down and around. Again. Again. Good, meet me down in the middle here. Hang for a second. We'll heel toe it together. Take your time and then roll all the way up. Shoulders back and down, let's squat. Push the arms forward. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Again, pushing that booty back and then squeeze to stand tall. Again, a few more here. Push and squeeze, push, squeeze. Last one here, push and squeeze. I'm gonna push up overhead and then pull down. So when you push up, those biceps end up right next to your ears. 
Shoulders stay pulled down and away from them. <sighs> Pushing up <sighs> and down. <sighs> Couple more here. <sighs> Last one. Up and down. Good. Let's go ahead and just jog it here. Roll those wrists. You want to get that heart rate up. Like I said, we've got some planky stuff. So get those wrists nice and warm and ready to work. <sighs> Breathing here. <sighs> All right, let's pick up the pace, move it into high knees. <sighs> Even faster, get that heart rate up. <sighs> Switching now, jumping jacks, nice and quick. Take control of that breath. Don't get out of, be out of breath already. And good, relax. Shoulders back and down, chest proud. We are ready to work out. All right, my friends, we're starting with a preacher curl. I'm actually gonna use my eight pound weight for this one. So you're gonna come all the way down to a, like a half kneeling position. You've got one leg out in front, right? The other leg's back and behind. I'm gonna bring my uh, elbow all the way to my knee. And right here, I'm going to curl it up. So we're taking everything but the bicep out of the equation. Here we go in three, two, here we go. So take note right now of which arm you are working. I am working my left. I'm starting with my weaker side. 35 seconds on the clock. This is uncomfortable for you. You can always just stand tall and do a regular old bicep curl. But right now I'm trying to isolate that bicep, really give you a good challenge. My biceps are a little sore from my, uh, I was boxing yesterday, so I am feeling a little sore today. Eight seconds, but not too sore. Not enough to where I'm gonna miss my workout. Just maybe a little bit lighter weight. Two. Rest. All right, I'm gonna grab both of these eight pounders, lay all the way down on the ground. I'm gonna go skull crusher, and I'm gonna roll up and do an overhead tricep extension. In three. Right here, hinge at the elbow, extend. Roll up, hinge at the elbow, extend. Roll down. Got it, hinge right next to those ears, extend, roll up, hinge, extend, rolling down. You got 25 seconds and up, back, extend. If you feel like you're starting to lose control of the weights when it comes to the overhead extension, you can push the dumbbells together and extend there and then separate as you come back down. Almost done. Good, rest. We're ready for some cardio. I'm gonna do five jumping jacks, pop it out to plank, tuck jump, bring it back up, five jumping jacks. You can do it. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, down, explode, up, one, two, three, four, five, down, explode. Three, four, five, in your own time. 10 seconds. Three. Rest, breathe. We are doing the jumping jacks, tuck jump, one more time. In three, here we go, two, you can tell that I need to concentrate. Oh, I'm a little 
Isn't it? Ten. Three. Thank goodness. All right, other arm. Preacher curl. Opposite arm, opposite leg this time. We go in three. So now I'm doing my right, my stronger arm, although it doesn't feel like it right now. After all that, we're going to do all of those exercises one more time. 30 seconds. Try not to round over here. Try to keep that back flat. You're breathing. 15 seconds. Bicep is burning. It's working. Seven. Make sure you guys are breathing. Think exhale as you bring that weight up. Good, we're going down for the skull crusher to that roll up to that overhead extension. We go in three, that was a nice rest. Here we go, back, up, roll up, extend here, and down. I'm gonna bring my dumbbells together for that tri tricep extension overhead to give me a little more shoulder stability because lefty is starting to go. 15 seconds, belly button pulled in. Big exhale as you roll up. Three. Good, the dreaded five jumping jacks. Two, or one tuck jump, not two, oh my gosh. Five jacks, tuck jump. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Down and out. Tuck the knees in. If you need to modify this, simply just hop in and out. You don't have to like fly it. So you can just jump the, the knees and the feet in, out, back out. Rest one more time and we're done with circuit one. We go in eight, five, two, here we go. Out, two, four, two, three, woo. You're over halfway. Whew, guys, I'll be glad when this is over. Yeah. All right, we are moving on next circuit. We are starting with a bent over row combo. I'm gonna use my heavier dumbbells for this. I'm gonna use my 15s. So we'll hinge at the hips, stick the booty out, back nice and flat. I'm gonna row narrow, right? Right up into my hip and I'll lower down and I'm gonna row wide, almost like I'm a cactus here, right? So I'm gonna row wide, narrow, wide, narrow. Grab those weights. We go in five. Here we go. You're down, row, squeeze the shoulder blades together to your hip. This is nice and slow here. And then wide, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Narrow, and wide. Think exhale as you work against the force of gravity. So anytime you're pulling those weights up, 
you're exhaling. If you're starting to fatigue through the back, check your form, and then you might have to lower your weights. 10, eight, five, two, Good, I'm gonna keep my same dumbbells. I'm gonna come all the way down onto the ground. Chest press. Every time I drop the dumbbells down for the chest press, I'm also gonna lower a leg. So everything's up. We did something like this before, but we did it with a skull crusher. So as the dumbbells lower down, so does one leg. I want you to keep that belly button pushing into the floor. So instead of keeping your lower back on the floor, try putting your belly button into it. Now the breathing, it's gonna be a little opposite here because I want that exhale as you drop the leg. So hopefully you're not going too heavy for the chest press two. Cool. All right. We have a coordination challenge right now. I'm going to pop it out to plank, hop my bear onto one side and then hop the bear over to the other back out to plank up to stand. So we're down, hop my bear to the right, up and over to the left, back out, up to stand back. So I'm hopping over some imaginary object and I'm not jumping. I'm jumping down here, but I'm not jumping up top here. Five. That was fun. Let's do it again. Pop it out to plank, angled bear. Hop it over, back to plank, up. Three. Here we go. Out, in, over, out and up. Out, in, over, out, up. Have fun with it. Oh, my abs. Keep the core engaged. I am exhausted. Oh, thank you. Okay. We're going back to the row. Catch your breath. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Row, nice and wide. Row, back is flat, heels are driving through the ground, but you're gripping the floor with the entire foot. Remember you're exhaling as you work against gravity, making sure that back isn't rounding. You got 15 seconds left, squeeze. 10, eight, five, two, three. All right, all the way down. Chest press with that leg drop. Pulling that belly button in to the floor. Here we go, drop and press. Remember the breathing is gonna feel backwards on this one. When it comes to the chest press, because I want that breathing focused on what's best for your core. Fifteen seconds. I'm dying right now, guys. I'm dreading that next exercise. Five. 
five. Good, dumbbells aside. Pop it out into bear to one side. Hop over, back out, repeat. Here we go, out, in, over, out, up. No jump there. Out, in, over, out and up. You move at your own speed, whatever feels good for you today. Three. Ah. I swear by the end of that 30 seconds, I can barely get off the ground. One more time. In five, two, out, in, over. Why is it so hard? Out. Stay with me, guys. Halfway. Stay in control of the breathing. Three. Oh my gosh. Okay, we are officially halfway through. So let's grab a quick sip and then we'll move on. All right. Next exercise is a pullover. I'm gonna use my two tens and I want you to have your light dumbbell out and ready for the next exercise. So I'm gonna use my two tens for the pullover. I'm gonna come all the way down onto the ground. Yay, we to lay down. And then I'm just gonna bring the dumbbells up over my face, back and behind and back up. We've done this before. We do it in all my programs if you've done them with me. Eight seconds, we're working your lats, which is right here, right? I want you to feel this in your back. Here we go. Back and up. This is your nice, slow and control. But we have to go into a plank after this. Don't think about that now. And it's a side plank. <laughs> That's more bad news. But what we'll do is we'll start on our weaker side, get it over and done with. 20 seconds. Just keep breathing. Inhale to lower, exhale up. Five more seconds here. I am sweating. Good. Now we're grabbing that light dumbbell for this next one. I'm gonna use my five. Ow. I'm gonna come into a side plank. I'm gonna go onto my right because my left arm is my weaker arm. Come up and I'm just gonna lift and lower that dumbbell. So lift the hips. I'm actually gonna put my top leg out in front. Lift and lower here. Oh, I'm hitting my mic. Lift and lower. I'm gonna move this so we don't get a bunch of weird noise. So I'm working the back of the shoulder and the bottom obliques, 20 seconds. So now if you need to modify this, you can come onto your knees and continue from here. Now, if you're feeling this in your shoulder where it's uncomfortable, go without the weight. Just do the best you can. Five, three, Rest, all right. Whoa, through my dumbbell. We've got a single arm burpee. So if you can, you're gonna try the single arm burpee. If not, you can go two hands. Pop it out to plank, out, walk it in, in, out, out, up, switch. Out, in, in, out, out, up, switch and jump if you want. Adding that jump if you want it. 
the wider you are in your legs here, the easier it's gonna be for that overall core stability. And rest. Hey, I'm all right, okay. We're doing it again. Pop it out, in, in, out, out. Repeat. Here we go. Out, in, in. Jump to switch or not. 20 seconds. Move as slowly as you need to, to keep control. Two. <laughs> I almost lost it, okay. We've got the pullover. Got my tens. We go in three. Here we go. Back and up. Anybody else so glad to be laying down right now? <sighs> Breathe. You can always come up into a bridge if you'd like. I prefer to stay down. Reason being, I really feel a core challenge when I'm here. I really feel my abs, my innermost core, my transverse, really have to activate here. Seven seconds and we do that side plank on the other side. Good. Dumbbells aside, grabbing the light dumbbell. We're coming into that side plank in five, top leg in front for me. Here we go, you're up, fly it up and down. You're trying to lift those hips up. So if this is hard on your shoulder, you can always try going up onto the hand. Both work, both are nice and challenging. Whatever feels good for you today. And remember, you can always go onto that knee. 15 seconds. You've got 10 seconds on the clock. Five, three. Yeah. All right, two rounds. Single arm burpee with that in, in, out, out. Little crawl. And then we get to breathe. We go in three. Here we go. Down, out, in, in, out, out, in. Jumping if you like. When I add the jump, I get too fatigued too quickly. If you are getting too fatigued too quickly, even without the jump, try going two arms down on the ground and up. Three. Okay. Breathe. We want to do that one more time. And I promise you don't have to do it again. In five. Oh, I'm sweaty. Here we go. In, in. Woo. Again, 20. Ten. I can't talk. I can't laugh, it hurts. Two. Aye. Oh my gosh, okay. One circuit left. All right guys, we're gonna add a little bit of forearm strengthening into our bicep curl. So I'm gonna use my tens, I think. 
I'm gonna start with my tens. What we're gonna do is curl up, right? Regular bicep curl up, and then I'm gonna rotate to uh, have the palms facing down. So I'll come up, rotate, and then lower down, and then curl up opposite way, and repeat. So the palms are going to be facing up and down. We go in three, palms face up. Here we go, curl up, make that rotation, lower down. So you're gonna have to lift a little lighter than you normally would, <clears throat> and down. So you're making that rotation at the top. Up, it's gonna help you work on that grip strength. And down, up, rotate. You're gonna feel that bicep work because you're making that rotation at the top of that curl. And yeah, it burns. 15 more seconds, then we're gonna wanna get those light dumbbells out again. 10. Anyone else dying today? Five, this workout killed me. Three. And rest. All right, get those dinkier dumbbells out. We're gonna come down into a bear. We're gonna do a fly, fly, and then lower the knees down. Come up, tall kneeling, press the dumbbells overhead. So hover the knees, fly out to the side, opposite side, fly. Lower the knees, come up, press overhead. We got it. Down, fly, fly, lower, press. Again, let's start with the opposite side. Fly, fly. Lower, press. Taking your time. Fly, fly. 10 seconds. Again, five. Thank goodness, dumbbells aside. Burpee variation. It's only half a bear. Pop it out to plank. Opposite knee, opposite hand, touch, come up, repeat. Here we go. Down, out, tap, up, jump. Opposite side. Again. Ten seconds. Last three. Breathe one more time. Then we run through it again. And then we're done. We go in five. Three. Here we go. Out. Tap. Out. Tap. In and up. Eighteen. Ten. Oh my gosh. Three. Thank goodness, okay. Curl variation. <clears throat> we go in five. Palms forward. Catching that breath. Control the breathing here. Up, rotate, down. 30. Again, you've got to control that breathing here. You're halfway. Fifteen. Come on, guys. I know it's hard. I am really struggling today. PMS paired with probably lack of sleep. Rest. All right, we're coming all the way down with the lighter dumbbells. 
we're almost done. And then your workout will be done for the day, done for the week. We go in three. Starting with that fly, hover it. Hovering, fly, fly, come up. Make sure you don't arch that back when you come up for that press. If you are starting to fatigue like crazy here in the core and in the quads, you can always do your fly without the hover. Just do your best. I just want you to finish the workout with me without an injury, without overtraining, without feeling destroyed. Five. Yes. All right, guys. We have a minute of work left. Starting with that tap burpee. We got it. Down, tap, up, jump. If you need to take out the jump, you can. If you're lacking that stability here, just drive a knee. Do your best. 15. Under 10. Dig deep, guys. Three. Thirty seconds of work left. We can do it. We go in five. This is it. Home stretch. Here we go. Down, out, tap, up and jump. If you want. You are halfway. Keep breathing. We are almost done. Five. Two. Oh my gosh. We did it, guys. Breathe. Walk around. Let the heart rate drop. Be proud of yourself because that was hard. That was definitely hard. Now's the time to drop a few cuss words. Maybe you can break up with me for the weekend. I feel like I'm gonna break up with myself for the weekend here. But you know what, week three, We'll start new and it'll be fine and you'll like me again. All right, get a quick sip of water. I'm just babbling. Quick sip of water. And let's stretch it out. All right, go ahead and just kind of swing the arms first. Just get the blood flowing. Roll those shoulders back and down. Big shoulder rolls. Let's bring one arm up and across the chest here. And just breathe. You're stretching through the back of the shoulder. I'm trying not to smash my microphone. Go ahead and switch sides. Breathing here. Gonna find a wall, doorway, something to put your arm up against, your hand up against. Stretch the chest and we'll turn away. Opening up through the chest. Anything will work here. You could even use like, um, well, I guess a chair would move. Doorway's the best. Open wall, you've got one somewhere. If you've got a couch, you can totally use a couch, right? Might have to get down onto your knees, but it works. Oh, Buddy is cheering us on. All right, go ahead and switch sides. 
there have been a lot of people just like working around neighbors' yards, but he hates people, apparently. If he hears like the collar of a dog, like just the jingling, jing, 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 walk by, him and Franny go nuts. I don't think Bodie can hear anything and Herbie just doesn't care. <sighs> Breathe, guys. All right, go ahead and find the foot of your mat. Unless you're me and you don't have a mat. We'll roll it down nice and slow. So as I'm rolling down, I'm stretching through that upper back here, right? <sighs> Roll it down. Slow and steady wins the race. And then we'll walk it into a downward dog. Breathing. Pedal those feet. You might, your legs might be a little tight still from the second wor workout, which was so fun. And then go ahead and lower those knees down. I'm actually gonna pull this off because it has a tendency to turn off when I'm here. And then widen those feet and then sink it back into a child's pose here, extended child's pose. And you can put that forehead on the mat. I know I sound like I'm in a cave now. And then go ahead and put the palms of the hands together. So they're pressing together and then bring them up. Give yourself a little mohawk here. And just breathe. So now you're feeling this stretch through the back of the arm. Breathe. My arms are shaking. You guys feel free to hang out here as long as you want. But this is where I'm going to leave you. So hang there. But soon, go drink a lot of water, go eat something, probably take a rinse off or something. I don't know guys, but it's the last day of week two. We are halfway there. I love you and I will see you next week, week three.